Hello and welcome to an interesting problem. So, about two days ago we had a power cut and power cuts aren't really a big problem for me because I've got a backup generator and stuff like that but in this time it's caused a problem. Um, in fact I might do another video on the generator and backup power and such at some point. Anyway this time it's caused a problem so what I do is this tank has its own air pump and it also does these drum filters as well and um, the air stone is right at the back out the way down there somewhere um, I don't know if the camera will be able to see it but it's just there and um, you can't really see it because the air comes up underneath this thing so I didn't notice that it hadn't come back on yet and um, uh, one of the things that's happened is basically in the basement here let's go and have a look downstairs I've got a UPS on this on this particular air pump and for some reason the well the battery's failed in my UPS so for some reason it's not turned back on so there's been two days without the air pump on and I tested the water yesterday and I noticed it weren't very good it were actually two milligrams per litre on ammonia which is horrendous um, but it's usually a lot better than that, usually it's at the worst point 3 milligrams per litre and there's a lot of fish in that tank and there's not much water in it. So I was quite surprised, I've come to test it this morning, it's gone over range on my anemeter which is more than 3 milligrams per litre. So just the air going off has really caused a lot of problem, a lot of um, ammonia build up. The fish haven't been very upset but I did notice a point yesterday where they were a little bit upset. So there we go, we've got that air pump back on and basically what's happened there is that there's not been enough oxygen in the water for the filter to process the ammonia uh, so the ammonia has gone absolutely crazy. So what do I actually do to solve ammonia problems? Now a lot of people, and I, I've been talking to a hell of a lot of people, especially with Fry this year and what they tend to do is drop the water down and fill it back up. Waste of time. Honestly, it is absolutely a waste of time. In my experience, um, if say, right, this water is three milligrams per litre, so it's incredibly toxic ammonia. Then fish will be storing all that ammonia in them. They'll be stop. They'll stop releasing ammonia, so they'll be storing it all up. And if I put in, if I take the water down to half, to a 50% water change. What will happen is obviously in that 50% the, water, the ammonia level is still the same so they won't be doing anything. But then when I top it back up, the second fresh water starts going in, all them fish will detect that fresh water and they'll all release the ammonia, making the water incredibly toxic. And then when it fills back up to 100%, you'll test it again and it'll be exactly the same. It'll still be at pretty much 3 milligrams per litre and you'll be thinking, well why didn't it half? You know, I've took half of the ammonia out, why didn't it half? because the fish have started re releasing the ammonia that they were storing up. So what do I recommend? I recommend a trickle system or a flowing system. So as you can see underneath there, I don't know if the camera can actually see it. Let's see if I can get a bit closer. I've just started the water going in fairly fast, not too fast because the water is quite cold and this tank is quite warm. Um, so I don't want to drop the temperature of the tank too fast. It's already got the heater on. Um, so basically I'm just letting it flow in. So as it's flowing in, them fish will now be releasing the ammonia and then the ammonia will be going out that overflow. And a lot of people also comment that my overflow, this bit here, is next to the inlet. It doesn't matter, it really doesn't matter. For a start that water coming in is very cold. Uh, it is slightly heated by a little air heater, I'll just show you in a second. Um, so uh, what happens is basically the water comes in, it's that cold, it just drops straight to the bottom, goes straight down that drain to the drum filter, to the heater, and back round. Uh, so it never goes through that. And even if it, even if a very small amount did go down there, it'd still take up a bit of ammonia with it, so it's fine. Uh, but also the water flows this way around the tank. So realistically, the water's coming in there, going around, then out. So you know. Um, one of them things, it doesn't really matter as long as it's not literally directly flowing into the overflow. Um, but yeah, I just thought that were interesting that my air pump had gone off and literally my air pump going off had caused uh, such a big ammonia spike. thought it were interesting. 
One of the things I'm going to do, I've actually ordered it a couple of weeks ago, but it's not come yet. I've ordered a new air stone for this tank, so I've ordered a big air diffuser that's about as wide as this tank, a big rubber air diffuser. I can't wait to get that. Um, because, mostly because I think these lines are getting old now and they're restricting my air pump a little bit. So I think it'd do a lot better with proper air stones and proper air lines in. And, uh, but as you can see, it bubbles quite well, so it's you know it's not bad. Um, yeah, the fry are doing really well, really happy. Um, yeah, I'm pleased with them. There's some lovely little fry in there. Not really, not really happy at the minute, obviously without water and the cold water flowing in is a bit new for them. But I have a trickle going in all the time. And in fact, I'll show you right now. One of the problems with having a trickle going in, especially here, the tap water in this area comes out in winter at about two or three degrees. It's incredibly cold. And uh, behind this plant, <laughs> there it is. So what happens here is the cold water comes in here and then leaves at this side. Can't see it behind that net, but it leaves at that side. And basically it runs around a coil inside there water all runs around the coil inside there and at the bottom not easy with this plant there at the bottom there there's two fans one at each size one behind there so as well they're pulling air out so the hot air of the room is flowing over that coil and it does heat the water up going to the quarantine tank quite a bit and it is quite handy uh, to have i think i'm going to probably change that this year i really like it but one of the things I want to try and do is put a water based one so I want the water to overflow out my main pond into a tank and I'll have that coil in the tank and I think if it's in contact with water it'll do really well. So while we're here, the new filtration system has been running on this main pond for a week now and I'm really pleased with it. So in fact let's go in the basement and have a look at the filter. Um, so it's been running a week. I've got the uh, outlet of the air thing set up. So I tried um, bringing it up here to about here. Uh, breathing work, it basically the water was still coming out and then eventually it just blow it out of the top because the air pressure in there is quite high. Uh, so it's basically, it's got nine foot of head pressure on it. So it's fairly high, it didn't really work, but not much water comes out in it anyway, it's probably a gallon or at most two gallons a day. So it's not something I'd ever notice with the trickle that I have in this pond. So basically I've just let it down here, inside here, and I'll show you that in a second. But yeah, so after three days I got the, um, I, did, I tested the water again and it had come up from 0.4 milligrams per litre on ammonia to 0.5 milligrams per litre. So it had come up, the ammonia had risen without the Ciparax in. So I knew the Ciparax were doing something. Now, um, a week later, um, it's come down to 0.31 milligrams per litre on ammonia. So it's, to, it's already, after a week, processing ammonia better than the Ciparax was. I'm really pleased with that. And you can tell that by the nitrite. So the nitrite was generally 0.2. Um, and now the nitrite is 0.4 milligrams per litre, so all that 0.5 of ammonia uh, has been turned into nitrite and it's not yet processing nitrite, so my nitrite's a little bit high. Uh, not exactly a worrying level, but it's a little bit high. And uh, it's quite interesting to watch, you know, ammonia be turned into nitrite, I quite like that. So, yeah, it's working really well. I can't believe after a week it's already showing signs of being better than the Ciparax. So when it's been running for six months, I think I think it'll be flawless. I'm uh, really pleased, despite the enormous expense of the back of house meeting. I'm really pleased that it's going. Um, yeah, so, you know, I could have done a few things differently. If I'd have perhaps stood them upright, um, I'd have definitely got a lot more back of house media in. So the way I, when I laid them down, especially with it being a cylinder, um, they didn't lay down very neatly, there's massive gaps inside it, but I thought that just meant the water flow through more turbulently. Um, so I weren't too worried. But if I ever do need to add more, I can stand them up on end, and I imagine it probably will fit a lot more media in. Or even add another one. <laughs> but let's not get carried away. 
So let's have a look in under here, I'll show you the outlet of that. So there we go, this is in my well, in the basement. So the air pipe just runs down there, and then straight in, you can see it's bubbling away. So I basically just stuck it in the water a little bit, and um, just to mask any noise that comes out of it. But you can see it's very, very little amount of dripping. And uh, if it just sticks in the water, I can uh, know what it's doing there. This water is always at that level, that's like the ground water level around here. So there's always a foot of water inside this thing. That's why, I mean, the water's crystal clear because it's, it's well filtered through sandstone. The fryer happy already just by putting the air on. That's really warm the most. It's only been on 10 minutes. So if you like this video then please like it, if you want to see more videos like this then please feel free to subscribe, if you have any questions or comments then please put them down below and I shall see you in the next video, thank you for watching.